Hi there, y'all. Hi, everybody. Jen Yates in the house. Um, I just want to make this little video um, to everyone out there to say uh, thank you so much for your prayers and continued support as um, my Ellison side of the family, well, and the Yates side of the family, too, deals with the brutal murder of my great grandmother, Stella Ellison. Uh, this event happened in 1996 in Cincinnati, Ohio. The two murderers were lovers, uh, from what I understand, and they went into my grandmother's house and asked her for money. They were going to go to the Grand Ole Opry and hold everybody hostage and demand to see Reba McIntyre, who was playing that night. Now, I know that sounds crazy, but that was my life growing up, and this happened when I was 16 years old, a senior in high school, and if you didn't know, I've been working on an autobiography called Genstory for a long time, and this story actually starts my book, my memories of it, and, uh, you know, goes on to, uh, I go on to talk about all my battles uh, that I have faced due to that incident, so anyway, thank you for the continued support continued prayers and of course if you didn't hear uh mincy meese the uh the one who was the actual murderer the one who did the deed um was paroled today and as of may 11th she will be walking the streets of ohio again if that's where she stays so um if you're not paying attention please do so please share the story please get it out there i would love to be interviewed and talk about it um as it's been pretty detrimental to the Ellison side of my family. And uh, my poppy, who is now 95 years old, is retired from the Army. He was an Army sergeant in World War II in Korea. This was his mother. And her husband helped build the Cincinnati Zoo. She ran a, um, she had a, an apartment complex where these girls lived. And uh, they did premeditated they went and planned it when she wouldn't give them money and they came back and they killed her and i think they stole if the reports are right about eleven dollars they just wanted enough to get them to tennessee now i don't know how eleven dollars was going to get them to tennessee in 1996 but that's what they had planned to do so i hope uh the grand Opry is paying attention i hope reba mcintyre is paying attention you know they were after her so uh, the main murderer will be out, and no justice has been done, in my opinion. She served, you know, a little over 20 years for taking my grandmother's life, for beating her to death with a wooden clock and suffocating her. Now, is justice done? No, I don't think so. And I'm sorry, but it, it makes me just not believe in our justice system, as I didn't have any beliefs in our justice system prior to this, to tell you the truth. Very rarely is justice done in our country. And it makes me sick to my stomach. So anyway, thank you again for your continued prayers. Uh, I will continue to talk and tell all about this case. And, uh, you know, maybe one day I'll meet Miss Mincy Mace on the streets and we'll see what happens. I would love to talk to her about this incident. Y'all stay tuned for that book. And if you know anybody uh, who's a publisher, editor, who can help me take it to the next level with that book. Uh, I would love the help. So DM me. Thank you again. I'm Jen Yates signing off.